Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving your internet connection sharing not working properly on your Windows computer. So, this is a, generally a method to connect multiple computers in a LAN network configuration through a single IP address. So, we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu. Just go ahead and lock one start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back to registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab, and then Export. File name, I normally recommend the date that you're making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever wanted to import it back in, you would just select File, and then Import, and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So go ahead and double click on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Scroll down to Windows. Double click on that. Do the same thing now for current version. And now there should be something that says shared access. Right here. And just left click on it one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. So now that you're here, we're going to go right click on a blank area on our right panel, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. And you want to name this value enable reboot persist connection exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, enable reboot persist connection. First letter of each word should be capitalized here. Hit enter on your keyboard, and now you want to double click on it for base, you want to make sure it's at the hexadecimal, and then in the value data field, you want to delete the zero and type the number one, like the numeric number one, and then go ahead and select OK. Once that's done, you should be able to close out of the registry editor here. And one further thing you guys should do would be to open up the star menu, type in services, go ahead and select services from the star menu list. Locate the Internet Connection Sharing Service. Right here. And go ahead and double click on that. Set startup type to automatic. And if service status is stopped, you want to select the start option. Select apply and OK. I would suggest you close out of everything and then restart your computer. And then hopefully your issue should be resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.